So today we are talking about how to cultivate our creativity. Now creativity usually is taken in into into the same niche as arts or photography or painting all those kind of things but what we tend to forget is creativity does not really mean that you have that creative mindset and all of the like the generic stuff in in my opinion i, I really think of creativity as an art to solve a specific problem so you can be creative in maths you can be creative in science you can be creative in entrepreneurship in your business in in developing your brand creativity it, to me is a different way of doing things now that different way comes from within so it is your voice it is who you are it is your way of doing things that to me is the definition of the basic definition of creativity now there are a few steps that you can follow in order to cultivate your creativity and to get to know your own voice and to be in and to get comfortable in your own voice the number one is to keep learning more and more never have the attitude that you know it all within your niche even if you have been in your niche or if, even if you have been in your field for 10 20 30 years there is still a lot to learn the world changes like that so always keep learning always keep curious always always be curious about what different stuff is coming out what are the different ways other people are doing things and how can i improve and the more we learn the more we get to know about different things that are happening and the different ways people are doing things now I, I don't remember who said it, but uh, good artists copy and great artists steal. So the, the way that goes is you get inspiration from all of these things. So when you learn, when you keep in touch with whatever is going on in your field, you are in touch with what other people are thinking. And that can be a source of inspiration for you to put your own voice into that specific topic or that specific area that has been worked on. So always, always, always keep learning more and more. Number two is beating on your craft, which goes hand in hand with keep learning more because once once you're learning more and more you have to apply it to your craft you have to apply it to whatever you do if you're a photographer and you learn something from maybe Ansel Adams or, or uh, Saul Leiter or these guys they are classic old-school photographers but in case you get to know about these guys, people apply those things to your photography apply all like small little techniques like Ansel Adams he, he, he had a great great uh, photography with black and white in black and white niche so in case you're doing black and white you can you can see what these guys did and like Saul Leiter for example he had a, a touch of abstract uh, abstractionism in his photography so you try and use those little things in your craft so keep beating on your craft regularly every single day start keep learning and keep applying whatever you learned to your craft and that is going to evolve you as a person within that field and it is going to give your brain a base to be creative on or a base to to have different kinds of ideas built upon number three and one of the most important things is to surround yourself with the right people so whatever field you are in does not matter you have to keep away from toxic people people who keep complaining people who keep blaming others people who don't do what they're supposed to do people who make plans and then for some reason get distracted that way people who talk about other people behind their back like in general people who are negative and we talk about negative stuff much more than positive stuff negative stuff much more and much more than than the regular good stuff now i know being negative and being sad and being angry all of these are part of our real emotions because if you're not angry we won't know what being not angry means if you're not sad we won't know what being happy means but at the same time what i am saying here is if you really really want to succeed you will have to try and stay away from those kind of people no matter what and it can be a part of life yes but if you keep close with those kind of people your mind and your frequency gets affected a lot so try and stay as much away as you can from those kind of people and it will in the long term for sure for sure help you out in being more creative and being more successful as a whole as a person now, number four is to, to get a mental boost is to meditate now meditation does not necessarily need to be that you need to close your eyes sit silently and think of stuff and TM and all of those things meditation can simply be you sitting there and listening to what is going on around you what like the sounds of the birds animals outside the car and trying to think 
of what that car looks like and those kind of things they they are the things which calm your mind and which help you think in a different way and they boost your creativity at the same time so that is what i talk about when i talk about my meditation so like me personally i really think the traditional meditation is really really boring so i really go for this kind of meditation which boosts my creativity and which keeps my interest in the thing for 5 10 15 minutes how 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 long however long i am doing my session in so that is something that is going to really help now last but not least is physical exercise now what physical exercise does for us is it keeps our body toned and it keeps our body up like that like that so you are always on your toes and what that will do is it and especially physical ex exercise done the first thing in the morning is going to boost your boost your metabolism and it will boost your creativity and your mindset like starting of the day and that is going to start your day like help you start your day in on much of a positive note so you can do all of the other uh, four uh, these are four tips easily and you can do them much more often if, if you have a good start to your day so physical exercise is a really is, is is a must to keep your brain and keep your body running up and running and being active so I think those those are my tips on how to cultivate your creativity in case you have another tip for me or for other people on the channel make sure to leave it in the comments below and make sure to subscribe again if you haven't already so you get notified of the videos I'm gonna sign off I'll see you next time